एवरीवन आई एम निधि गनी योर करियर डेवलपर एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस फ्यूचरिस्टिक करियर्स इन द एग्रीकल्चरल इंडस्ट्री इन माय चैनल आई डिस्कस एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू करियर्स एंड एजुकेशन राइट फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ 13 टू 23 सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन बिल्डिंग अ सक्सेसफुल करियर हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन ऑलराइट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड व्हेन वी थिंक अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चरल इंडस्ट्री फॉर सम रीजन वी ओनली जस्ट थिंक अबाउट फार्मर्स टॉयलिंग एंड हार्ड वर्किंग इन द स्कॉर्चिंग हीट ऑफ द सन बट the agricultural industry is more than just farming it is set to become a 600 billion dollar industry by 2027 the agricultural industry can be divided into four components that is production processing distribution as well as consumption starting with production right if you are somebody who is interested in plants that is botany or you want to study biotechnology engineering or biological sciences agricultural sciences or engineering in here you will be studying amazing subjects like genetic engineering molecular biology cell biology if you are doing agricultural science then you are also studying about crop management agroeconomics so many fascinating subjects right so the careers that you are going to build are all so very intriguing like for example a soil scientist fertilizer manufacturing and i'm not talking about chemical fertilizers because those days are coming to an end because humanity has now realized that using chemical fertilizers we are only hampering our soil quality as well as playing with human health right that's why now we are moving towards regenerative farming natural farming practices right andhra pradesh is leading that effort and india is also heavily investing in natural farming practices that's why uh, you need these scientists to think about how to come up with natural fertilizers natural pesticides and herbicides which not just are useful for the environment but they are also helping our human health as well and this will happen only when a person studies not just bachelors but also completes their masters phd sometimes because you need in depth knowledge and also interest for these subjects apart from that you can also work as a plant breeder and modifying different seeds because in the era of climate change we need crops and seeds that can withstand harsh climatic conditions not just that because the soil quality has depleted you need to have seeds and plants that have bio fortification of different nutrients in them which will also not cause side effects for humans so there itself you have one other career who is going to look into detail analysis of how the chemistry of the plants is going to affect the chemistry of human body so you are looking at food chemistry as well as biochemistry careers here if you are somebody who is interested in law and policy after your bachelor's in agricultural science or biotechnology engineering or ad hoc subjects you can always move towards law and policy which specializes in agricultural law and policy here once you graduate you could be working as agricultural policy analyst you are looking at what is the yield per farm hectare right of the land what kind of different plants should be grown in different parts of the country because the soil is very different in different parts of the country also you are looking at how to diversify your crops because we all know that monocultures are causing a lot of impact on human health so now is the era where you are bringing in diverse cropping how can different plants and crops and pests and weeds survive together you are also thinking about diplomacy here agricultural diplomacy because when it comes to agricultural commodities import export becomes of utmost importance ensuring that you have enough crop for domestic consumption but also bring in economy by exporting your goods outside and also thinking about what kind of sanctions you need to put in on different countries based on your diplomatic relationships for example recently india had stopped exporting the palm oil from malaysia because of diplomatic relationship so these are also fascinating careers to really look at if you are somebody who's interested in agricultural policy and nutrition policy you can work at that intersection to ensure that vulnerable communities and hunger and malnutrition is being combated by providing the right amount of carbohydrates or calories uh, for 
people who deserve it through rations or other schemes like that so you are responsible for devising these schemes as well now if you are interested in trade and commerce or finance which i know a lot of students these days are you can immediately study these subjects after your 12th or you know you can move after studying agricultural sciences in your masters you can study management trade commerce and move towards trading commodities agricultural commodities because these are of utmost importance in the stock market today you can trade grains oils and seeds even livestock as well right thinking about how much to procure how much to store how much we should distribute what amount should be in the cold storage as you know like you know tomato prices increased recently because of climate conditions as well so how much trading is going to happen is also something very fascinating as a trade and commerce analyst who comes from an agricultural background you have to understand that today careers are interdisciplinary the wider your interests are the better your careers are going to look like so think about agriculture also from that standpoint apart from that you can also think about the food processing piece right because today india is committed to becoming a leader in the food processing industry what that means is you have to ensure that there is constant supply of good quality raw material which is grains oils and seeds to ensure that you're coming up with products for exporting as well so you're looking at careers like quality control analyst who will help set up the manufacturing plants who will help you validate all the equipments as well you are looking at risk assessment of the manufacturing facility also apart from that quality assurance specialist will look at ensuring that the quality of the food products that has been manufactured meets the regulations of the different countries that you are planning to export your food to apart from that you also have to ensure that microbiological elements come into picture so a microbiologist is also involved in food processing industry right because uh, recently i met an entomologist who studies insects and her career was into microbiology now because she was looking into ensuring that microbes and bacteria are not part of the supply chain for food and agricultural commodities because this is where you are thinking about out how to you know like top food spoilage as well because humanity in the world produces more food required than we consume it but most of the food goes waste that's why uh, microbiologists and people who are researching in food storage and supply chain are of utmost importance today apart from that let's talk about a very futuristic career two futuristic careers actually starting with the technology field in the technology field if you are interested in tech and agriculture we have agritech now so in agritech you are coming up with new technology called as agro robotics agro robotics can be a career for somebody who studied electronics engineering mechatronics automation mechanical as well right these careers useful in making automation tools for example drones or high tech technologies which are responsible to replace human labor because there is already shortage of agricultural labor as the migration from rural communities to urban communities is more sought out these days to curb that shortage you are looking at agro robotics so what do agro robotics do agro robotics basically look at soil sensors they also look at sowing techniques using machines how to harvest at what point of time as well we all know that pesticides are harmful for human health so instead of spraying pesticides throughout the farmland now agro robotics will help you analyze which part of the fruit or vegetable is actually infected so only that part is sprayed and this is very labor intensive that's why agro robotics have come into picture very precision analytics is responsible here so you're also looking at data analytics data analytics data engineering as a career also is very important in the agricultural field because imagine the vast amounts of land where we cultivate our crops right so looking into what different soil conditions are required for what plants how is that going to help to increase plant yield crop rotation 
right so all these are also parameters that can be looked by the data analytics engineers as well apart from that coming to the consumption field so if you are interested in tech agrobotics and data analytics are amazing careers to have another futuristic career that i can think about here is agro geometry if you are an artist and you are interested in design agro geometry is absolutely for you think about future farms smart farms these are farms that are not just going to be away from the city we are talking about vertical gardening and vertical farms where your entire land or cities are going to have like micro forests and micro farms where you are thinking about how to integrate human existence along with plant existence together this is where you are going to think about at what angle should the plants be produced and what different kinds of plants should be placed where depending on their growth as well but also not intruding human space just providing enough amount of greenery as well as yield vegetable or fruit yields right so that's where agro geometry comes into picture where the designer or the artist think about designing these spaces in the in an efficient manner as food preferences are evolving as india and the world is getting educated about their health and fitness food preferences are also evolving more and more protein consumption is growing now and also people want to consume more greens on the same side even food production of junk foods is also increasing of course but as diets are evolving you also have careers in the nutrition and public health space which i'll be making a separate video on because that itself is has enormous opportunities and careers there when you're talking about consumption there are new concepts coming into picture because diets are also evolving so you're thinking about artificial meats you're also thinking about farm to table concepts apart from that localization and globalization of food products as well so this presents immense opportunity for entrepreneurs in the past 5 years the amount of brands that have proliferated in the market and supermarkets we are all witnessing that during and after the pandemic and if you are a fan of shark tanks you'll see that so many entrepreneurs are pitching different novel kinds of products here so you have the opportunity to come up with new products that can impact human health in a positive way so that brings in a new stream of economy as well as career opportunities for yourself uh, of course you know about or organic for farming as well which is growing like crazy right now there are a lot of opportunities in the agriculture industry it is not just about farming anymore remember that food is a powerful tool you can use it as pleasure you can use it as a spirituality or it's a fundamental right it is so powerful that it has devised protest or invoked protests over different parts of the world right from french revolution to arab springs right whenever the bread prices were high there were protests that have taken place so ensuring that the prices are at its minimum the entire supply chain works efficiently the agricultural policy is in place so that the rich and the poor have equitable access to nutritional food ensuring that human health is at its check ensuring that environmental balance and ecological balance is also in place while it brings while the food also brings economic opportunities for the country so all in all i want to say that if you are somebody who is interested in agriculture you can enter the field from science technology engineering management arts as well as law and if in your bachelor's degree you feel like oh you did not enjoy it or you felt like you made a mistake by choosing any of the careers or subjects that you chose in your masters you can always specialize in again all the steam careers that i just spoke about into specialization of agriculture all careers take time to mature and ripen so give it some patience it's the right time to sow the seeds of your career in agriculture to reap benefits tomorrow good luck